Hello, how are y'all doing today? My name is Bernie Thompson and I'm president of Automotive Test Solutions. Today, we're going to diagnose a tough problem on this 2004 Ford F-150. This F-150 has a 5.4 three-valve engine. This three-valve engine has had a misfire for a little while. The shop's been trying to fix it. Both heads have been replaced already. The PCM has been tried. Coils, spark plugs, injectors, this is a tough diagnosis on this vehicle. Let's take a closer look. Let's scan this vehicle and see if the codes can help us. Now that we've connected the e-scan to this F-150, let's take a look at the data. The first thing we want to notice in the lower left corner are the monitors have not been completed. We have four monitors that haven't been completed. This means that the battery has been reset or someone has cleared the codes. Now, there's no DTCs. They show a zero. Let's go look. We're going to open up the DTC page and we're going to look. There's no DD set. What this means is since the data has been cleared, it's going to make it harder for us to know exactly what's happening. One thing that we do know is the shop that's worked on this is number eight and number six were originally missing. They redid the valves and the valves were bad on both cylinders and now number six still has a miss. So we want to first verify which cylinder is missing. To do this, we're going to go and we're going to use the E-misfire detector. We're going to connect the tailpipe sensor into this F-150's tailpipe. During a misfire, the air moves in and out of the tailpipe, but when it misses, a large amount of air rushes back into the tailpipe. This Venturi assembly will amplify that pressure movement and this sensor will read it. Now, let's go connect to the rest of the engine. Now that we've connected the tailpipe, we need to give the machine a reference. We're going to connect a lead to the number one coil. Now you don't have to use the number one coil. Any coil assembly will work. On this engine, number one's easy, so let's connect. Now that we've connected the tailpipe transducer with the amplifier, and we've got a trigger off of the number one coil, we now need to open up the software. So we're going to go in and we're going to look at the software. We're going to come over and we're going to pick the misfire. Now we got misfire or compression, but we want misfire because we need to determine what cylinder is missing first. We need to open up what type of vehicle. It's a Ford. We're going to go down and we need to pick the, find the year, 2004. And then we need to come down and we need to find a 5.4 single overhead cam. So now we've got this configured. We're ready to start it. So now we're going to come over and we're going to pick misfire. Notice that the red on the bottom of the screen shows that we don't have a tag signal. Now this engine isn't running, so this is right. But also we're not doing any counting for any kind of misfire up here. We need to start this engine first and then we'll be able to see what cylinder is missing. Now that we've started the engine, we'll give it a second and we'll see what cylinders are misfiring. You always want the engine to stabilize right away as it comes up and starts to run. We can see that it's lodging several misfires and they're lodging on cylinder six. We're going to change the sensitivity of the machine and we're going to make it a little more sensitive to find the misfire. Over here, this is fine sensitivity. We want to grab it and we're going to bring it down just a little bit. We can see that every time that it misfires, we get the light lit. Let's go over and we're going to open up the controls and we can watch the cylinder miss. The cylinder that is misfiring is number six cylinder and it's an intermittent miss as you can see. It's not every time. This engine, when it's stone cold, misses much more readily and as it starts to warm up just a little bit, it doesn't miss as much, but the miss never goes away. It's always present. Now that we see what cylinder is misfiring, number six, we also have a few cylinder misses on number eight. We want to go in and we're going to want to check the ignition coils and patterns on this truck to see what might be causing this misfire. 